hey guys welcome to my channel so in this tutorial uh, we will discuss about short drx and in last tutorial we have already discussed about long drx so one thing i would like to uh, tell you that we have seen few things that is on duration means these things you uh, always have to keep in your mind that on duration is there and there is off duration or you can call it sleep mode also this all we have seen in last lecture and there is drx inactivity timer inactivity timer. so this is kind of a uh, bullet point uh, for you so the in these three things means if u is in on duration u will decode pdcch okay and in off off duration uh, u will not decode the pdcch okay means here uh, saving the battery saving battery using uh, drx and during drx inactivity timer as i uh, told you as soon as uh, I means suppose u is in on duration it decoded the pdcch find out that uh, incoming data is there so uh, immediately drx inactivity timer will be started okay and during drx drx inactivity timer u has to decode pdcch as well why because uh, you have to receive the data and to receive data uh, the first thing that you is supposed to do is to decode pdcch okay and uh, and once drx inactivity timer expired then again you will go back to sleep mode that is in off duration that it will not decode the pdcch okay again on duration will come okay and something is there if it, it, it will decode you will decode the pdcs if something is there again drx inactive timer will be started okay and same things will uh, will continue okay so this is the means this is the main concept of drx you can say uh, using its parameters on duration of duration or you can say sleep mode or drx inactive timer okay now uh, let's focus on short drx let me remove these things just a second and one more thing if drx inactive timer expired so you should go back to sleep mode but if still means in la if suppose drx inactive timer is 4 millisecond and in that 4 millisecond if you has find out that uh, still incoming data is there in that case uh, drx inactive timer reset itself and it will again started where you have you has to decode the pdcch okay now uh, let's focus on short drx okay so here i have mentioned the parameters which are related to short drx cycle uh, these parameters again they means with the help of rrc connection reconfiguration message the uh, these parameters are provided to ue and short drx is all can always be uh, implemented uh, with long drx okay means without long drx we cannot uh, enable short drx independently in network okay so here you can see that uh, short drx cycle is of 5 millisecond we'll see okay drx short cycle timer is 2 this also we'll see this on duration timer this is same this is for both short drx and long drx okay that UE has to decode PDCCH for 2 millisecond. Long DRX cycle is remain same as 10 millisecond in DRX inactive timer. Uh, let's keep its value 4 millisecond. Okay, so now uh, this I have, I have made this uh, radio frame. Okay, so let me draw the first radio frame. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, suppose you is in RRC connected mode, okay, and so long DRX is enabled here. 
so you decoded the pdcch here here okay and let's say you didn't found any one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and let's say in these two pdcch you didn't find any incoming data means after decoding pdcch no data is available means no incoming data is there so ue goes back to sleep mode sleep mode for 8 millisecond because it's same this this is your on duration of 2 millisecond and this is your 10 millisecond long direct cycle okay as we have seen in last lecture uh, this 10 millisecond it is okay now uh, again the in next sub frames 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so again you will decode pdcch in this on duration timing which is of 2 millisecond this 2 millisecond on duration okay and this is your long DRX cycle, right? Long DRX cycle of 10 millisecond. This is same thing, this 10 millisecond. Okay, so, uh, and this time, uh, let's say UE has find out that uh, some data is there in means uh, after decoding this PDCCH, UE has find out that uh, some incoming data is there for UE okay so after that DRX inactivity timer will be started okay for next 4 millisecond DRX inactivity timer and this will be for 4 millisecond because DRX inactivity timer is set to a value of 4 millisecond here you can see okay so let me write down the soft frame numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 9 10 okay so add this 1 2 3 and 4 so till this sub frame you will decode the PDCCH because this is a DRX inactive timer okay so if data is there then it will receive the data if data is, is not there still uh, UE has to decode uh, PDCCH for uh, these 4 millisecond suppose uh, okay fine uh, so at this point this DRX inactivity timer inactivity timer got expired okay okay so now uh, means i'm considering that after this uh, 4 millisecond of drx inactive dimer uh, no data is there okay so uh, okay so short drx inactive dimer will be started just after uh, expiration of this drx inactive timer so short drx timer is of 5 millisecond fine so let me take green color so one two three four five okay so from here short DRX timer is started this five millisecond is this short DRX cycle okay let me write here this is short DRX cycle and here also the on duration timer is of two millisecond okay so you will decode the pdcch in first two subframes okay and in next three subframes this will be a sleep mode sleep mode or off duration where ue uh, doesn't has to uh, where ue will not decode the pdcch okay so and the a timer for the, the, the DRX short cycle timer is of for it's set to 2 it's not millisecond this 2 so this short DRX will be continued for it will be this this 5 millisecond will appear 2 times okay 
so for next drx also uh, for next 5 millisecond this short drx cycle is applicable again 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 okay so again here this is 5 millisecond okay and this is also a short drx cycle and in first two subframes we will decode the pdcch and in next three subframes it will be a sleep mode for you where you will not decode the pdcch okay now here uh, we are considering here that uh, in this and in this pdcch you we haven't received any incoming data that's why UE is moving to sleep mode. If some data is received here, then again DRX and active timer will be started. Okay. And after expiration of that uh, DRX and active timer, this short DRX will again started. Okay. Now, so for two DRX cycle, you can see means uh, we are considering here that for the two DRX or better to say for continuous two short DRX cycles, that is this one and this one. Uh, no incoming data is received at UE side. Okay, so our short DRX timer, uh, our short DRX cycle got expired here, and after that, long DRX will be started again, like this: two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so in first two subframe, you will decode the PDCCH and in next eight in and for next eight millisecond you will remain in sleep mode okay and if some data is received here here then again direction active timer will be started means as soon as you receive the data uh, means you have to start the uh, direction active timer so that for next 4 millisecond, uh, continuously uh, in 4 subframes, PDCCS will be decoded. Okay, suppose no data is received here. This is long DRX cycle of 10 millisecond. 10 millisecond. Long DRX cycle. Again, long DRX will be started. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9 10 okay so you will decode the pdcch in first two subframe and in next eight subframe it will be in sleep mode. sleep mode okay so here uh, you can see after receiving data uh, let me write these steps uh, so here data is received incoming data you can say after that DRX inactivity timer is started if data continues for next suppose for next 20 minutes this DRX inactivity timer will reset itself so that you will uh, decode the PDCCH for next 20 millisecond and if uh, no data is received uh, after expiry of this DRX inactivity timer after that your short DRX cycle will be started short drx cycle will be started so always remember uh, just means uh, once your drx inactive timer got expired immediately expired immediately short drx cycle will be started okay and if no data is received in short drx cycle then long drx cycle will be started so you can see why why we have introduced short direct cycle uh, so that so that just after receiving data we can uh, put the ue uh, in long direct cycle gradually okay because in short direct cycle uh, means the amount of battery that we can save will be less and in long direct cycle the amount of battery that we will save will be more okay so uh, for the duration of short direct cycle means uh, you will wake up uh, more frequently if you compare it to long direct cycle okay so that's why we need the short direct cycle hope you like the video thank you